Hey. Hey. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? I guess we have to be. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Tracking a huge mineral deposit.
A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Suiting up. See you on the ramp. Hope we're all that ready. Callow. All right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh. Sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like... hearing things, other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Hell. Hell. 
There. Sit us down at this nav point. supposed to do here reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge eos deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters plus no pathfinder this analysis if EOS provides is like us habitat with a 7 that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere and collect this data, we could use the outpost and tend to track it down new technologies and get power back on. for equipment such as your weapons and armor they must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. How would they know? They didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Got a code lock key. Handy. It'll get us in. main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay.
I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Alice thinking sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we go outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. Pathfinder, that door is locked until... It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. Standard equipment. That's all we had to give them. These shield masts are protecting against the radiation, but they're wearing out fast. Standard issue. The outpost was going through them like gizzard picks. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Is it smarter to hide and hope? Or take a chance that might save this whole planet? I remember when people used to talk like that. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. Radiation levels are severe. Seek safety immediately. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location.
Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he used his clearance to sneak off the station, make some credits on the side. You don't sound so impressed. Generator interface possible. Location marked. We've got company. Kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those cat... Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else.
Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site-1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site-1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. So shiny. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code.
Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a slam. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Ryder, Vetra wanted you to check in when you can. The scent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Levels have spiked, Pathfinder.
the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. There, look, up near that scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols, glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? That should do it. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Literally. Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make little bots!
bad. My first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as Peavy. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Poof, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. But there's a great view! Could be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there. levels have spiked, Pathfinder. When they sent the first colonists down here, everyone was so excited. After all the shit the Nexus had been through, we finally had something to believe in. Then the reports came back. This time will be different. Yeah, I'm more than ready to believe again. Like the Scourge got to this remnant. Pathfinder, I detect initiative equipment nearby. Experiencing radiation damage. there. That spot is shelter, 
Water, stable ground? It was initially overlooked due to heavy cat presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outpost site. Cat and remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. So, if we clear the skies, this might be our new home. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Radiation levels normal. Life support is stable. Detecting above normal radiation levels. One folks were interested in the monoliths, too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Remnant bots. These ones don't seem hostile. Oh, my God. 
salvage. It appears to reconfigure panels that rise from the floor. That could come in handy. I detect a high level of scanning will reveal the missing glyphs. Colonist from Site 1. No one came for her body? We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there? Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Pavlov, Amira S. And get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If she's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what she started. Nice work. Huh. 
Okay, let's solve this thing. We're so close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Then I can see Carrie again. It's been a slow start, but we got this. We... Oh, no. No! Damn it. The Remnant aren't all bots and maybe blue skies. Stay careful. They were saving any data they could, in case it helped the next try. That's yeah. us. The next try is us. Interface failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems engaging. Interface failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems engaging.
pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Can't drop ship. Seriously? Can't catch a break. Is it just me, or do cats seem to appear everywhere we find remnant tech? I was just thinking the same thing. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Remember the early data on EOS back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. Hostiles ahead! like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Levels are severe. Seek safety immediately. 
So this technology on Habitat 7 was messing with the planet? We don't have all the answers yet. Don't expect any from the Nexus. They got a few reports, then the cat showed up. No time to study weird tech. Probably best to focus on the people shooting you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Were those pets sent for us? We've got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah, guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. Oh, come on, Drax, stop that. Ventra, what are you doing here? I'm with the Pathfinder. That Pathfinder. A friend of Ventra's, a friend of mine. You can call me Ryder. I'm Drag, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? Checking out these monoliths? The cats seem pretty interested in this one. Looks like you cleared it out for us, though. You sad I didn't save any for you? Nexus knows shit about the cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> But they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. Taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. Yeah, I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, Drac, we could use someone with your... skills. Tempting as that is, Vetra, I'm a little too old to be carrying humans through a fight. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the cat keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. He seems fun. This 
component for security tact for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. Thank you. 